Um, so I'm excited. I don't have lots of time, but I'm going to give you an introduction to what many of you probably have heard about already. And that is that the Homer Dame High School is embarking on a building project. Zelly is writing a great article for the paper Tiger that will come out soon. So you'll hear more about this. And this is really just an introduction. I'm not going to go into too many details, but please know there's lots of opportunity to offer feedback, and we're going to have some student meetings, and I know Veronica is working with her architecture students as well. So um, I also want to give you the time. So our hope is that we will break ground in June of 2017, so one year from this June. So seniors, when you come back, you will see some really interesting, wonderful new structures on campus. And um, juniors, you will have a normal experience. Freshmen and sophomores will be a little different for one year. Don't worry, I'll show you what we're going to do. So next slide. So what I want to do here... of our values, and that's a, that's a very important piece of this. So, um, so what you'll see in this slide is um, this is our existing entrance, and so we're proposing with the city of San Francisco to move the entrance and create a whole new um, lobby and admin wing and a new entrance, and this is really important because right now if you are a differently physically abled student or adult, when you visit our school and you come in our front door, you're faced by stairs or a lift that is not the most graceful. So by moving the entrance up the street a little bit, you can come in on grade, you can come in on a wheelchair, you can come in with crutches, um, you can come in however you present yourself. And obviously that's a really important piece of who we are. The other thing you'll notice is a third story here. Yeah, let's see. Um, and that's going to give us a lot more space, about um, seven or eight more classrooms, which is really exciting. Um, and I'll um, talk a little bit about that. The other thing is, it's a little hard to see, but this is a gallery um, meant to display student work. Um, right now, when you walk past the former High School, you kind of don't know what goes on here but amazing things go on here. So it's our opportunity to share with our community all the incredible work that you do each day. And also that you then have a larger audience. Um, that you're not creating just for a teacher or for each other, but also for our whole neighborhood. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, and that's Jim, that's Steve. Okay, um, the other thing you'll notice is um, the facade looks very similar to what we have now, and that's because we're keeping it. Um, because the city of San Francisco has designated Lit Boarding's main high school classroom building a significant historical resource. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, it, was, um, it was actually designed by a Lit graduate, and he is a, a famous architect, his name is William Merchant. You can look them up and find out more about it. Okay, next slide. So. So, um. I'm sure you see all your friends and it's really exciting. Um, this is looking from, we walk into the entrance, this is a lobby. So, what you'll see is a lot more room. Um, places to sit, to gather, to hang out as you're waiting for pickup or, or anything like that. But you'll also see that the Center for Civic Engagement moves to the front of the school. And that's an important reflection of our values as well. It's what our, our public purpose programs run from the center, student clubs, community service, leadership opportunities, our partnerships with our community nonprofits. 
And it's really exciting to be able to walk in the school and see that hub of, of connection and activity. So we're really excited about that. Um, you'll see skylight, a lot, a lot of natural light. That's the uh, stairway, the, the main entrance stairway will become the main stairway for the school. Okay, next slide. Okay, so um, this is looking from the cafeteria, or from the cafe to the main building. You see the second story, or third story. This is the space between the theater and the building. So right now, that's a really nice um, space to have lunch, but it's really underutilized. So we're going to be closing it in somewhat. It's going to be an indoor-outdoor space. It'll be covered, probably with some solar kind of panels. Um, and it will be used for lunch, but also for other meetings, for overflow, for theater events, for all kinds of stuff. We're going to really try to capture that space in the PC. Okay, next slide. I love how excited you are. Um, so this is an example of the third floor hallway. So there's a few things I want to point out to you here. So what you'll see is along the hallways, we're going to have lots of nooks or little rooms that are open for meeting with teachers, for meeting in groups. Um, it's Right now, there aren't lots of those spaces, right? Um, so we want to create more uh, small group workspaces. The other thing that you'll see is um, it's a non-precious space. You'll, we're hoping to create walls that can be written on appropriately, and um, where you can do work as you as you meet somebody and you ask, hey, you have to do that math problem. You can just sit there and figure it out together. Um, it's this idea that learning happens everywhere, right? And we know that learning happens in the hallways. You'll notice that the locker room, the lockers are on one side not two sides of the hallway. We're trying to create more room in the hallways. So I think that work. And then also, I think, you, so skylights on the third floor, and then, I don't think you can see this, but um, can you see the transom windows up here? Yeah, okay. So um, all the classrooms are gonna stay on the north side of the, of the school because that's really good light, it's not direct sunlight, but we're gonna open up the, the, the top of those so that more light can come into our hallways. Um, so when you do research around learning spaces, there are three things that really um, influence a positive learning space from a physical standpoint, and that is light, air, and ergonomic comfort. So one thing you can't see in these pictures that I'm very excited about is a new air system. <laughs> So, um, so right now, when you want to circulate air in the main classroom building, you have to have the heat or the air conditioner on. In a new building, you can have um, uh, air that is pumped in from the outside, filtered, and circulating 24 hours a day. So, so that's really, really exciting. Um, so you know that sleepy feeling you get after lunch? Hopefully that will um, help a little bit. Okay, um, next slide. So where are people gonna be during this year of construction? So, freshmen and sophomores. So um, this is our parking lot currently, and it's going to be our mini academic campus. Um, and so, um, so let me tell you a little something about um, Let me tell you a little something about portables, that we're calling them bungalows, first of all. So and um, they have really the air circulation. Um, they're actually about the same size of our classrooms right now. And we're gonna really create an amazing campus down there that the students are going to help plan and decorate. And we're researching all kinds of ways to make these portables um, a really fun, interesting place to learn for a year. Obviously, we'll be a little tighter for space, but every other part of the campus will be available. So the gym, the shops, the theater, the science labs, um, the cafeteria, the library building, everything else will be available. It'll just be the main classroom building. No. 
Okay, so that's a really quick introduction. I know, I'm sure you have lots of questions. We're going to have some lunch um, time meetings if you want to come by and ask more questions. But I, um, I wanted to just give you a really small window into the next phase for the Learning High School. Thanks so much. <laughs>